Hello lads and ladies and welcome back. Welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Wigan Athletic against Fleetwood Town. Wigan have scored! Wigan doing really well in the division, just above Fleetwood, although they've been ninth without their deductions, doing really well, winning games of football, one defeat in seven, kind of getting wins here as well. They've won, you know, three, you know, three games, you know, a couple of weeks ago, all by a scoreline of 2-0. Callum Lang scored in back-to-back -back game, which is good for him. Sean Maloney's got him playing nice football. He's bringing youngsters through, the likes of Tickle, Hughes, um, you know, Adiko, you know, good players as well. And your, your experienced players, your Sean Clares, your Tom Pearce, uh, your Callum Langs now of this world are, are experienced players. And I'm looking forward to, you know, tonight's game. I really like, you know, what we can do, bring those young players through. So defeat on Saturday, but again, a lot of positives. We had 31 shots, we had, I think, seven on goal. Phoenix was excellent. He's been brilliant in the last few weeks since coming into the side. You know, what a way to kind of you know, respond to being left out of it, you know, on a longer term basis. And, you know, it looked like Ease Davis could be numbered going in January, a bit like Paddy Lane did, and I still miss him. Boy, Tom, 4-0 written all over it. He did get 4-0 written all over it, by the way, on Saturday. Give me Paddy Lane back, but I thought Patterson could go to somewhere like a Portsmouth and thrive, but he's back in the team now. The worst thing that could happen this season is relegation. That won't happen, I can guarantee you that. Promotion? shouldn't happen. I don't think that'd be right for them. They need to stay in League One, maybe this season and next season and really push on because they keep coming up to go down. They want to kind of go up and stay there. That's their next day in the next three or four years. Sean Maloney's the right man, stick with him and that he'll take this club far. Hugh, Wigan fan, big game here tonight, an hour before kick-off. What's your thoughts on the game, mate? Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, obviously, you're, I think, four and beaten away from home in your last four games, winning, winning two of them. So it's going to be difficult, but I reckon we should get the job done because we've got very good home records. Yeah. Um, but I still think, because I remember saying after the Leighton Orient game that we've not drawn, well, we, we, we'd only drawn once away from home. Yeah. Well, all seasons, to be fair, before Cheltenham. So I feel like we've got to that phase where we're now going to draw loads of games. So I feel like today's just going to be one of those games where it's just going to be really frustrating, to be fair. We're doing nil-nil. We've not done nil-nil yet. I've not watched nil-nil yet. So it's going to be nil-nil, <laughs> isn't it? There we are. That's the conclusion. Well. I'll tell you what, I, I am a voice of optimism, aren't I? And, uh, yeah, what a game this is going to be. What a vlog. Keep watching, guys. <laughs> uh, so wait to see, see if it's nil-nil. Forget about what live score tells you. It won't be. Katie Wigan fan, what's your thoughts tonight? Obviously, I think it's been a good season. It's been frustrating. You're only a few points above us, three points in front of us, in fact. But it doesn't kind of tell the full story, does it? Ninth without the deductions. I think we've just got back past the tricky, a tricky section. Uh, I think we're getting back in the swing of things now. Yeah. I think this home record's something that yeah. is going to be a good thing for us this season. Hopefully we can keep it going tonight. Again, what are the aims for you this season? Because I kind of think that you will be nowhere near the bottom four. I can probably name eight or nine teams worse than you, but there's probably uh, 10 teams better than you. Do you kind of see yourself in that team of four or five I mean, teams? For me, I'd be happy anywhere mid-table, say from about, I can see us back from maybe 10th-ish to about 15th, 16th. Okay. I think just consolidating, have a good, just a good season. Uh, I don't think it'll be nil-nil, but I do think it'll still be a frustrating draw, if I'm honest. At least for us anyway, for you guys, probably feel like a cup final win to you, because obviously, you know, a point could even even see yeah. you out the bottom four, to be fair, if the results go your way. So I think it's probably going to be a frustrating 1-1 draw, I reckon. So, yeah, probably 1-1. One, one. I'll take a point. Yeah, you know, Tickle, Adiko, Hughes, you know, you know, just three three of those as well. And you've got players on the bench on Saturday that you know, have impressed this season as well. What's your score prediction tonight? Be careful here, because Farley got it right on Saturday. I just say, I'm thinking, what does this guy know? 3-0, really to score? The thing is, every time I predict us to win, we don't. But... So two nil. I think it's either going to be a one-one because we're in a, a bit of a rut with draws at the moment, yeah. or two two one. I think to us. Right. I th I th two on Fleetwood. I'm just thankful all the Crankshaw's not playing. To be fair, <laughs> I think I think I've got one. Katie, thank you so much, and uh, again, all the best for the season. I'm in the ground now, and again, they look to go four-two-three-one. We seem to have gone four-one-four-one like we normally do. Scott Robertson's back in. Keen A's recall from Rochdale scored a worldie at the weekend. Got team of the week in the National League. Um, again, 4 2 3 1 with them. Gardo, three goals, three assists for him. Um, you've got Callum Lang, 129 appearances uh, for Wigan, scored 31 goals. 
and you know, you know, across the few seasons that he's been here, out of confidence at the moment. But they've got a number of good players. Tom Pearce comes back in, 95 appearances for Wigan, uh, 15 of those coming this season as well. You've got a really good team. I like the Adikos, you know, uh, Sam Tickle and Gold, Charlie Hughes. You've got a really good young team. There's just something special under the lights. Big stadium, decent sized club as well in Wigan. I feel up for it. Fling would normally let me down, but a win tonight could just be what the doctor ordered. I said he worked under Johnson. Johnson knows him very well. And he, again, it's a long punt down the pitch. It just gets in behind our fullback. Our biggest issue at this football club are our fullbacks. Josh Hill isn't one. Rooney's a further forward than a right back. That's the issue that we've got currently. And team kept kind of looking at that. It's a great ball across. And Jones, brilliant finish. Composure really good. And he's been brilliant, Wigan, if there's kind of like four minutes. On that counter-attack, they are lethal. You know, Humphreys now, his best of the season came at Rochdale, scored 11 in 29. You know, on course, that's seven goals this season. What a block, Ben Hennigan. He's put four or five of those in during the season. The one away at Reading, and that one, probably the best of the two. The one at Reading, earned three points in the 96th minute. Let's go. Oh! Phoenix Patterson. Created eight chances, Saturday. That's a hell of a ball in. That's one thing he's got in his locker, that, you know, cross of a football so good. Hennigan, header just wide. Better. Our main chances are coming from set pieces where Phoenix can whip a ball in. You know, he, he, he can find room with anything, you know, he, he, he's phenomenal, he really is. And again, we're getting chances through Hennigan, you know, or even, you know, Earl in there, Broom, those type of the players are in the box for Havoc. Oh! We've been brave, we've been big and brave since the goal. We get the first three or four minutes. Again, the first box entry that we can see. That's got to be one of them, but much better, much better since that. It is the same every week. We can see, what was it, six minutes against Lincoln, something like that. Again, same again here today. The only goals are killing us. Like, we've been domination, you know. We've actually started games well, bar conceding goals, like today. Story of the game so far, they like playing out from the back. Now, I often talk about my old ticker, my angina, they like playing out from the back of the cup watch that week in, week out, but, you know, it'll do for them. But what, what, what happened to an old long ball up front? Oh, that's why I like Stevenage boys uh, and girls, of course. Um, and then their catching was on the counter a bit. Hennigan with a, a late tackle, goes into the book. Oh, goal. There we are. Well, I said they need to keep it 1 0. And we had chances at 1 0. You know, a couple, one from Rooney, one from Broome, one from Earl, one from Hennigan. We've had six, seven chances. It's the same story as Saturday. And again, it's that far side again. You know, on the left hand side, it's a ball in. Sean Clare scores. You know, played 92 times at Shotton over two seasons, 200 appearances, you know, or more now. At the age of 27, came in this summer. Good finish. And we can leave by two. We can have scored. Except they would. Good ball. Hey! 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 Yes. 
Now, now, now. I honestly, right, have no words. I like Wigan as a football club, but I don't want to ever come here again. Ever. Josh Hill has been sent off for a die, a second yellow. It looked a penalty first time. In slow motion, it looked soft if you give a pen. The, the defender looked to put a leg out. Was it enough to be contact and go down? I don't think so. But with dive, I'm not sure. I don't think it's a pen, I don't think it's a dive. That's what I'll say. It just always happens here, doesn't it? Like, red cards, lose. You know, only Cragshaw, you know, once upon a time at Ivory. Just. They're a good football club, you know, they're a good team, they're a better team than us, you know, they're a miles above us. This isn't down to Lee Johnson, this isn't down you know, to the players on the pitch, because we've played alright in games. I was enjoying watching, we could have scored three or four again tonight. It's just in key moments, you know, we're not defending the box well enough, we don't get out to crosses and we don't defend the box well enough, we don't start games too well and it's killing us. And if we don't get it right in January, the football club will be relegated, it's as simple as that. CJ's come on, gone left back, Robertson's gone off. So I think we'll go 4 2 3 or 4 4 1 with Marriott leading the line. Again, we've been alright, we've been positive, but there's a couple of elements that need to change defensively and we'll be alright, but just these key moments in games. Something like Steve Presley. <laughs> Well, it's three and this can get bad. Down to ten, it's been coming. We're down to ten men. The goal's been coming and we're now down to three. It's a brilliant free kick, Tom Pearce. You know, got a number of assists in the third part of the season. And it's a good left back. We left that the team a little bit. An experienced player now. And, you know, approaching 100 appearances for Wigan. Now another goal for him, 3-0. So it's 17 minutes past nine. It's two degrees. I'm freezing. I'm in Wigan. We're losing 3 0 on a cold Tuesday night. We're down to 10 men and we've now lost our last two with a conceding six goals. Still 15 minutes left. Bar that, I'm on top of the world, as the carpenters would say. I was the most positive man in the world for the last few weeks, you know, saying to believe, and I still am on that trust. You know, that trust process, believe in Johnson, believe it will stay up. But when you perform like this, you, know, you lose three, you get a man sent off, and you lose three on Saturday, you start to question your sanity. And that, is it just pure delusion? Is it just, you know, your belief in your biases for your football club? So I'm starting to ask myself. When Fleetwood lose, we lose badly. 4-1 at home to Wickham. 3-0 at home to Oxford. 3-0 at home to Stevens. 3-0 here. You know, the 1-0 against Lincoln was... The most frustrating because we lost 1-0 and it was a goal that shouldn't have stood in my eyes. But, but when we do lose, we lose bad and it needs to stop. And when it rains, it pours. Well, that's the end of that. That was a tough watch. I feel for those players because that mustn't have been nice, that last 45 minutes. 10 men, 3-0. We did well to keep it at 3-0. They kind of took the eye off ball in the end. They're a good side, well done on the victory. You know, Jones, good goal as well, that first one. You know, Pierce with a lovely free kick in there as well. And uh, a link shown goal, I think the, the second one went down. As, it's disappointing. It's the FA Cup Saturday. Again, Lee Johnson straight over to come over and apologise and, and, and clap the fans. So, such a difference and, you know I am disappointed I'm starting to question I'm a deluded didn't think it would stay up but there's still time to go thanks for watching please stick with us please stick with me please stick by this football club and hopefully times get better please like can we go for 250 on this all the best to Wigan for the rest of the season and up the cards and up the league one